Hey everyone, did you know that tyrosine is the juice to dopamine in your brain? So essentially what that means is that when you're doing or performing any tasks or getting things done or trying to crush goals or whatever it is like throughout your day, to-do lists, working, thinking, making decisions, every time you do that, you use dopamine in your brain in order to make those things happen. And L-tyrosine is one of the products that gets converted into L-dopamine. So basically, tyrosine is the juice and the fuel that your brain uses in order to make dopamine. How cool is that? And one of the products I've been using recently is Zone from eternumlabs.com.au, which has like a ridiculous amount of awesome products in there. Basically, it's like a non-stim, it's like a non-stim like supplement that has all of the good things like basically you'd want in nootropic but without all the stims in there. They got all the juice for your brain to make it works really well. And one of the best things that it has is tyrosine and a decent amount of it. I've been chewing them up like crazy and my brain has been firing, which is great. Um, you can get a discount on eternallabs.com.au. I've got the link in the podcast below. And if you use the code Corey, you will get like Corey with an E. You get 10% off guys. So happy hunting and using all those bad boys. Because I do know for sometimes for me, I'm having too many coffees and getting too too damn tired. I'm like relying on coffee. I'm like, oh, God damn. My adrenals get zapped. I'm like, all right, done. Off the coffees, off the stims. Smashing zone helps me get into the zone. So, so good. How good is that? So I just want to start this podcast off with a philosophy quote today with um, that comes out of, usually I do a Frederick Nietzsche quote, but I've actually got two here, to be honest. I've got one that comes out of, it's Fyodor Dostoevsky. He's one of my favorite authors. For people that I coach, I always get people to read his books because they're really hard and it's like going to the gym for a workout um, for your reading, uh, for your mind. And one of his quotes is, it takes something more than intelligence to act intelligently. Ooh, goddamn, I love that. It takes something more than intelligence to act intelligently. So where does that come from? So for me, I'd say that's like life force or purpose passion. If you've got those um, and you've sorted those things out and you know what you're doing, why you're here, um, what is your meaning? (laughs) It's a lot easier for you to actually take act onto things. You can study, you can research, you know what's intelligent, you know what the decisions are, you know how to sit things through and and do different things in your life, but to actually act intelligently is a whole nother ball game. So just a little thought for that one. And then I wanted to share a page out of the Daily Stoic. (laughs) So the Daily Stoic today is, um, is called A Cure for the Self. I'll read this out. Here's a quote from Seneca. The person who has practiced philosophy as a cure for the self becomes great of soul, filled with confidence, invincible, and greater as you draw near. Ooh, what does that mean? Well, thanks, Ryan Holiday, for writing this book, because this is what it means. (laughs) What is a cure for the self? Perhaps Seneca means that through nature and nurture, we develop a unique set of characteristics, some positive, some negative. When those negative characteristics begin to have consequences in our lives, some of us turn to therapy, psychoanalysts, or the help of a support group. The point? To cure certain selfish, destructive, to cure certain selfish, destructive parts of ourselves. But all the avenues for curing our negative characteristics, philosophy has existed the longest and helped the most people. It is concerned not just with meditating, not with mitigating the effects of mental illness or neurosis, but it is designed to encourage human flourishing which is a goal. We all want to flourish. It is designed to help you live the good life. We want to live the good life, baby. Don't you deserve to flourish? Yes, of course we do. Would you like to be of great? Would, wouldn't you like to be great of soul, filled with confidence and invincible to external events? Wouldn't you like to, wouldn't you like to be the proverbial onion packed with layers of greatness? Then practice your philosophy. So true. So correct. And I find that happen uh, so much, especially with all the clients that I work with what's really important is that like we get really clear on why someone's alive, what they're doing, how they're doing certain things. And it's it's really interesting. You just start seeing like when you've got something to really live for and you are hundred percent determined to do so. Um, what happens is that you just become a lot more resistant to all the bullshit in your life basically. And you're a lot more convicted to doing the things that you want to do. And it helps you to flourish. It helps you to thrive. It helps you to really live a good life. Um, so yeah, and getting clear on like your purpose, your meaning um, also helps you sort of figure out what your philosophy is and then how to live by that. 
Super important stuff to know. And that was a little bit deep, but so here we get to start the actual podcast today. I'm super excited. Woo! So we've got, um, today I just finished, uh, well, not today, but like during, I think it was last weekend, I finished writing an article on anti-aging and activating your energy. So we're going to get deep today. We're getting deep on NMN. We're getting deep on resveratrol, all the good stuff. Um, we're getting deep on like NAD, how like energy works in your cells. And yeah, the article's legit. So if you go to coreybauer.com, scroll down, go to blog articles and click on the anti-aging activating energy. You can get there. If not in this podcast, you can just click the link below and then you can see the actual article. And I'm basically going to be reading this article out because I know some people were just like, when it comes to reading things, you're like, well, fuck that. <laughs> but I think this is an extremely important, important article to read. And it's really going to upgrade your brain. If you need to, at certain points of this podcast, pause it and actually think about things please do so. I'll try to remember certain parts to be like, all right, pause it, think about this, or pause it, go to the article, look at one of the photos, have a think about that, because you're really going to upgrade some of your knowledge today, and I'm super excited to go through what is actually in here, because like I learn a lot writing this article, like I'm just going through all the different research, publishing, PubMed, I was like, a, I was a PubMed slut, <laughs> I was looking at all these different articles, there's like quite a few different um, references in here. And yeah, it's just like amazing. And I also shout out to Muscle Nerds. I finished Muscle Nerds course, um, their foundations course. Was it last weekend or the weekend before? Something like that. And we went through, it was really funny because I was writing this article beforehand, like a month ago, I set the goal to write this article, do a podcast on this. And then I did the course with them and we talked about NAD the whole time in the cells. And I was like, oh, this is fantastic. Um, Getting to go and like learn all these different things. So With NAD as well is I'll explain what all this stuff means. I'm talking like, what is this? What is this? Basically, um, NAD is your anti-aging like molecule or process that happens inside your body. And we're going to be talking about that, how to do it. What are the practical things? What are the benefits? We're going to dive in deep to like everything. So get keen. Um, Also know that like listening to this, you have a responsibility. If you're my age, if you're in your twenties is to like, you know, convince your parents to get on this good stuff. We want them to live long, happy lives with the most energy as possible. And so do you, you have a responsibility to do that. So learning these things, once you have learned this podcast and you've digested everything in your brain, you have a responsibility to share it. Like not just like, I would love for you to share the podcast. Please post it on your story. Please send it to someone who needs it. But also you have a responsibility to talk about it because you know, we want all those people around us to live the best, happiest, healthiest lives um, as possible. And we can do that by figuring out our purpose and getting clear on that. And also, um, and also acting intelligently. And I find it's easier to act intelligently when you know your purpose. And you'll figure out in this course that like, um, in this podcast, that when you are clear on those things, energies in your cell come up like crazy any, anyway and work really well. So just like one thing, um, I've been saying this a lot recently, just for you to take in before we get started, is I like to say like, where does energy come from? Just an example. Just think about time when you've just had like a day where you've just been like, you know, fuck today. I'm super tired, lethargic, can't be bothered. And then next minute, someone messages you, like, let's say it's like a partner. Like if you're a guy, it was like a girl message you. If you're a girl, a guy message you that you've really wanted to talk to for a while or catch up. They're like, hey, like, what are you doing on the weekend? Or what are you doing tonight? And you go like nothing planned. Or you have someone messaging you like, oh, they've got this really big business opportunity. Like this could be going off right now. Like this is one of the best things ever. Um next minute you're like out of bed, like you're jumping or like you're off the couch, like you got all this energy, like, whoa, whoa, got to do this, got to get this sorted out. This is going to be so good. It's like, where does that energy come from? Like literally 10 seconds ago, you're just laying there like, oh God, I can't be bothered. Like, so energy, my, what I'm trying to get the point across is energy does come from food. Kind of. <laughs> it also comes from what we'd like to uh, say is like life force energy is what I'll be referring to in this podcast. So yes, um, let's get started guys. Thinking caps on. Mm, Let's get some focus going on. So basically, question here is, what is NMN? So NMN is the miraculous molecule that boosts NAD. And if you want to figure out more about NMN and really dive deep into there, you can look at David Sinclair and research any of his stuff because he's like the latest and greatest in research in terms of anti-aging and NMN. Um, So yes, NMN boosts NAD. Now that leads to the next question. What is NAD? So NAD the, I'm going to try and say the word here, nicotinamide adenine or adenine denucleotide. (laughs) 
is a coenzyme that plays a critical role in supporting many biological processes within our body. It is known as the fountain of youth. Um, and studies have shown like an 80% improvement for any, for energy production, um, with aging. If you have healthy NAD from taking NMN, which is crazy, crazy study. Um, so what it actually does is it literally converts fats, carbs, and proteins into energy and an ATP, um, adenosine triphosphate. And if you don't know, if you didn't do PT in school, basically like, um, what they teach you (laughs) or PE, sorry, not PT, PE in school, physical education, is they teach you like how energy works a lot of the time if you did it in like year 11 or 12 and they just show you that like every single muscle contraction that you make, whether it's big, small, mainly the big ones, in like, if you microscopically look into your muscle fibers, is that every time you move like electricity um, within your cells, um, like makes your muscles move and the like sort of electricity sort of signaling pathway that happens, like the chemicals that make that um, uh the chemicals that make that happen is ATP. So we want as like much ATP as possible. We want a really healthy, um, a really healthy like ATP levels and like a conversion function in order to make things happen. You don't have to worry about that too much, but basically ATP is the energy with right in your muscle cells that, that gets um, used. Um, NAD maintains cellular energy, youth levels. NAD is also responsible for all muscle contractions using your organs. Um, Literally coming up with ideas comes from NAD. (laughs) The ability for us to hear, listen, and understand. So literally like hearing, listening, understanding. Um, And as we age, NAD decreases rapidly. It just happens. Um, And one of the things that come with that is that the older you get, one of the ways that you can boost NAD is to exercise. And that's why exercise is so important. When When you listen to anyone on exercise or movement, and you understand that where they come from, like anyone that's like in that field, they'll be like, exercise is the most important thing you can do. And it's because of all these different studies. But obviously it's like everything that you do is the most important thing you can do. It's not just one thing. <laughs> but exercise is extremely important. And exercise can increase your NAD definitely over a longer period of time. Now the thing is, is exercise also only takes you so far. Because what happens is basically NAD happens like in our cells, in our blood vessels and As we get older, our blood vessels deteriorate and then it's less likely for NAD to happen and keep our blood vessels and everything healthy. Now, it's a good thing that we have NMN because NMN converts into NAD. It's like the juice for NAD. And when it does, it it gets your NAD levels rise and it helps prevent your body from aging so that you can like live in your best body for longer, which is just the best thing ever. Um, So essentially... um, we all have to age, but we don't have to get, we don't have to age old. We can age, we can age able to keep kicking ass physically, mentally, and waking up with energy every single day. High NAD levels, make sure that this happens. You can literally, if you want, you can like, so NMN is great for, for taking it because it gets like digested in our guts and our body absorbs it and then it helps boost NAD. But you can't just ingest NAD because if you ingest NAD, it gets broken down in our stomach. And the molecule is like too big that it doesn't get absorbed. So you can like eat as much NAD as you like, but it's not going to do anything. I don't even know if they sell it, but you can get NAD like IV infusions. And if you're like an entrepreneur, one of these successful people that are listening to my podcast, it'll cost you $800. But my God, if you did one of those, like every couple of months for the rest of your life, you are going to be cruising, <laughs> like absolutely cruising. Um, Cause they put a whole bunch of B vitamins in there as well. So, Upregulating NAD has significant studies that show results in weight loss, improved energy, better sleep, protection against cancer, better mood, increased physical output, and reduced muscle aging. How good? (laughs) How good? So NAD is converted from NMN, hence NMN is the precursor to NAD and is an anti-aging and high-performance supplement. It reverses signs of aging from inside your body. How good? NAD is crucial for the basic reactions in your cells that keep you alive and it has many supportive health benefits. As you age, NAD declines. By the time you hit 50, your NAD levels decrease by 50%. So even if you're in your 20s right now, you're in your 20s and your 30s, this is something to be extremely mindful of. Like if you're not exercising, first things first, start exercising straight away. If you don't track your food or calories or vitamins or anything like that, 
I suggest doing it for one day to make sure that you have enough B vitamins, especially the vitamin B3, because vitamin B3, um, which is also called niacin, um, which is also called niagen. Why do they have so many different words for the same thing? I'm going to just refer to vitamin B3 in this podcast as niacin. And basically what niacin does is it also helps convert into NAD. So NMN, vitamin B3, niacin, convert into NAD in the body. So you want to make sure that you've got them in. And if you haven't got vitamin B3s or a good vitamin um, like like in your diet and you're not taking vitamin B3s, I strongly encourage you not to overdose, but I strongly encourage you to literally get a really good methylated B vitamin supplement, especially if you haven't got one, and see how that goes. Even increase the foods that have B, B3. Try for like two to three weeks. Don't just try for like oh, like a couple of days. Try taking it consistently every single day for two, three, four weeks. See how you feel afterwards. Um, if you feel amazing, then yes, you're probably lacking in a little bit of vitamin B3. If you're someone who's gone over your stuff and you're very particular about all the supplements, vitamins and minerals and food that you eat and you consume, um, yeah, just be mindful about how that makes you feel. Um, but if you're not, which I'm assuming most people aren't, <laughs> give it a crack, see how you go, or just get some NMN. Um, so what does NAD do? So it supports healthy aging by supercharging blood flow drastically, improving fitness, cardio and muscle health. I have been taking NMN and resveratrol um, for the past, I'd say, month and a half. Awesome. Awesome. Feels so good. Literally have better sleeps. I have like, it's crazy because the past couple, like month and a half, I've had all this stress sort of like dumped on me just from extra. I've just got all these different things happening at the moment. And usually I was, I was thinking about this. I'm like, man, if I was under this much stress, just in general, it's just got to get things done. It's nothing crazy, but there's a lot of stuff. And I'm like, if I'm under this much stress in general without taking these supplements... Like, I'd be burnt out by now, like, for sure. But I'm standing strong. I've got a really good mood and I'm getting everything done. Like, I feel great. Um, So it also makes your cells resistant to stress and protects the brain. Yeah, next point. Perfect there. Um, It helps DNA repair. So damaged DNA causes aging, inflammation, toxicity, oxidation, oxidization, and oxidation, probably the same thing, and cancer. Now, that's one of the really important things to know is that literally what makes us age is damaged DNA. What brings us disease is damaged DNA. What makes cancer is damaged DNA. Anything that like is bad happens to us is usually some sort of like our DNA gets a little bit damaged, like in that very tiny part of our cells. And yeah, that causes effects to happen. Um, so NA, good NAD levels prevent that. How good? Horm- um, it improves sleep, waking energy and control over eating. Literally, I don't know if it's because I just started comp prep or because I'm on the NMN and resveratrol every day. Um, that... <laughs> That literally I've just gone to snacks. Like usually I'm the worst snacker. Like I'm snacking so bad all the time. I've just been like snacks. No, like I, I haven't eaten a snack in like, I think it's been a month now. Like I literally haven't had a snack, <laughs> which is, which is, which is crazy for me. So the next topic we're going to talk about now is energy. So energy, I hope you guys got that by the way. If you need to pause and think about things, I'd pause now. So we've just went over NAD, NMN and how it's got those ridiculous amount of benefits for you um, and what it actually does. Energy. So energy in our bodies comes from eating food, kind of. Um, Our bodies still have to break down food into molecules, integrate those molecules with our cells. Furthermore, our cells have to be healthy enough to go through energy conversion processes, which depend on DNA, cellular health, and plenty of other factors. So that's sort of a very brief overview of how energy works. It's conversion within our cells, um, integrating different molecules, um, and it depends on cellular health, DNA health, and some other factors as well. Why is knowing that important? Like this is that is like huge to know that energy comes from all the different conversion-y stuff in our actual in our cells, like in the individual cell. Um, so the energy process, how it works. So our body digests and assimilates food, so we can use it as energy. And what it means is digestion is literally like absorbing it through our stomach walls, and then like literally turning the food into cells, like converting it into the cells so we can actually use it and having like the tiny little molecules that go through our body. That's why like chewing your food is so important. Like muscle nerds, one of the biggest things that I got from those guys in their course was literally they just dove into like the importance of chewing your food. And the whole time I'm just like, oh, come on, chewing your food. Oh, come on, chewing your food. Then we went through some of the science and I was like, man, I really need to chew my food. (laughs) And it's so true. Like it's something so simple, but it has such a massive 
massive um, like impact on our bodies, like breaking stuff down. So even like for, with, with chewing food, what I've been doing now recently, because like I'm shit at chewing my food is I like ma- I'm mashing all my food up in the pan as I'm cooking it at the moment, breaking it down, making it as small as possible. So when I do chew, um, I'm not just swallowing huge chunks of food. Like a lot of it's already pre-broken down. I'm like, yeah, I'm making like banana ice cream, which is basically just like bananas, blueberries, and some powders. I mash that up. I whisk and whip it all up. So my body doesn't have to like eat it and have like chunks of banana. It's already like broken down. So our bodies can use it really well. So on a cellular level, food gets broken down so tiny that it can create the required cells our body needs. For our cells to do their job and give us energy, they need to extract energy from the digested food. Hence, NAD is what converts molecules and proteins into energy inside the cells. So that's literally what converts it into energy within inside the cells. As we age, our blood vessels shrivel and start to die um, due to decreasing NAD. Hence, healthy NAD levels have so many physical and anti-aging benefits. So true. NAD can help protect and increase the flow of blood in our aging blood vessels. We literally cannot function without NAD. It is that important. Like literally, if we didn't have NAD, we couldn't do anything. Like we could not do anything. Um, NAD increases the conversion on a cellular level that the body rega- that in the body regardless of age. But as we age, it is critical to support NAD. So it's always going to be there, but we got to we got to sort it out because the lower levels that like we can't focus without it. But there's no such thing as having like no NAD. It just decreases rapidly as we start to get older. Um, and if we're under stress, but I'll get into that a little bit later. Oh, actually, I'll just say it now just in case uh, I miss it. But basically what happens is with all the B vitamins that you have and all the NAD that you have in your body, it comes from like tyrosine, serotonin, I'm sure these other neurochemicals and parts of your body. But basically what happens is when you're under stress is your body basically strips NAD out of it like literally strips NAD and instead of using all of the fuel sources to create NAD and have healthy NAD levels is it strips it out to deal with all the stress that's happening in your body. So it's like, how can you get into high performance? How can you live in your best body? How can you like really optimize yourself and have a lot of energy and prevent yourself from aging to live a long, healthy, happy life when you're under stress, especially if you're not putting like some of the nutrients back in. But the most important thing is to exercise with intensity but also reduce all your stress so that your body has all the great, um, uh, uh, that your body has all the energy required to do things. And like, it's just a little thing from Paul Check that he says is like what we should be doing daily, weekly, monthly, um, just spending time on rejuvenating life force energy, which is legit. I know people say, oh, like life force energy, but it literally happens with inside ourselves. We'll get into it. So there's a conversion cycle um, called the NAD. NADH conversion cycle. And this is how NAD like literally works with inside the cell. So we'll get into that. Pause if you need to, if you need to think about like the energy process and how that works. But if not, let's keep going. So process number one, NAD is constantly converting energy by picking up like energy ions um, and molecules Um, which then becomes NAD, sort of like turning a magnet on. So it picks up all these energy molecules and then it turns into NADH because it has the molecules. And then NADH drops the energy off wherever it is required. Like, so wherever we need energy, NADH will drop it off and then it turns back into NAD again, like turning the magnet off. So essentially the cycle goes, we turn the magnet on, We get energy and then we put the energy somewhere, turn the magnet off to keep the energy over there. And then it turns into NAD and it's ready for some more things. So NAD sort of works as a magnet for energy within inside our cells. So this critical process allows our enzymes and chemical reactions to work smoothly, creating energy by digesting and using microscopic fuel to literally make your whole body thrive. Yeah, baby, we want to thrive. So just as a reminder, when you get older, the ability for this process declines. Again, luckily there are things that you can do to, to improve this. It also declines as you get older. That's why you see people, you know, when they're under a lot of stress, get older, you're like, why does that happen? Why does someone who's so stressed out look like they've aged so much? And it's literally because they're so stressed that they're, they're zapping the energy out their body. They're zapping the NAD process out of their body and they start to age because they've got nothing to prevent it. The energy cycles are not working for them. It's working against them because they're too damn stressed out. So how do you increase NAD? Um, by the way, pause if you need to. <laughs> think, think about that. 
How do people actually age and get older? Energy gets like sucked out of them through stress. What? And then we get diseases and cancer. What? It makes so much sense. <laughs> so increasing NAD, the very first thing and the most simple thing you can do is exercise. Resistance training people. Yes, walking and cardio will get you somewhere, but resistance training specifically is awesome. It's basically driving blood into our, like the very microscopic cellular, what are those tiny veins called? Capillaries. Like getting into our capillaries and making sure that you get as much nutrients into those as possible. So like getting a pump resistance training is so damn important. Muscle health prevents aging. So you must be exercising regardless. This increases NAD. Like, so no matter what your circumstance is, you can do some sort of exercise. Even if you're in a wheelchair, like you can do exercise. Um, it's just to like put it out there. So no matter what you're doing, whatever you're suffering right now, um, or whatever you think you don't have enough time to do so, it's like you can exercise. You can put it in, like for sure. Um, it's even just, just some sort of exercise. Got to do it. So this increases NAD and also increases this thing called CERT1 pathways in capitals S-I-R-T-1 pathways. There's a whole bunch of different other CERT pathway, pathways. There's one to, I can't remember, 10 or something, maybe 12, 20, I'm not actually sure. But um, it increases your CERT pathways. NAD increases CERT pathways. Resistance training is a primary, like, an exact, like I say, resistance training is primary, cardio is secondary. Preferably 80% resistance, 20% cardio. Now, this is specifically for anti-aging um, in terms of creating like a whole bunch of energy. It's extremely important to do both. But if you're more cardio and your life or your focus or your fitness or your goals are cardio-based, then you're just going to be making sure that you are putting some resistance training into your program too. That's it. Because you're doing so much cardio, you have all the health, your body's getting enough like NAD conversion, whatever it is. You just want to make sure that you're getting a little bit of resistance training in there to support yourself as best as possible. So CERT1 is your anti-aging pathway. CERT1 and NAD are two things that make our cells healthy. NAD increases CERT1, which allows, so what CERT1 does is allows the communication to occur between blood vessels, muscles, and also increases growth promoting proteins, um, which is really important. CERT1 is a protein pathway that gets activated, which allows all your growth um, growth promoting pathways, uh, proteins to occur within your body. So just, just to like think about that really, really like just in depth, is that like, so these, this like when CERT1 is activated, all the damage and all the toxicity that's happened in your body, like you need to grow new things. We're constantly growing new cells all the time. They've got some crazy stats. It's like they used to say, think that we grew a new body every seven years, but now it's something like two years or something. They just keep decreasing it like with the new studies. Um, but CERT1 pathways, you want them really healthy because that's, what's al- that's what allows it to happen. What? So yes, to truly increase NAD, um, you can take two different supplements, which are best taken together. And that is NMN. Uh, the proper term for NMN is called nicotinamide mono. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher this. Mononcleotide. <laughs> NMN <laughs> and resveratrol. So basically, how NMN and resveratrol work is um, resveratrol is a gas pedal which like helps blood flow go around your body. And then NMN is the juice that makes NAD happen. So you get the blood flow. NMN gets to everywhere where it's needed. Um, and then your body creates a lot of NAD out of it. How good. Um, so before, yeah, so that's basically how it works. And if you want to get some NMN and resveratrol, also the brand. So this is the zone for Eternum Labs that you can see here. But Eternum Labs, the main product that they sell is um, NMN and resveratrol. And you can get that with a 10% um, discount. If you just put in Corey with an E C R E Y for a discount code, you can get some of that. I've literally, I've bought some from my parents. I've bought got some from my friends. Like I've sort of like, guys, just take this. Let me know how you go. Cause like, it's going to be so good for you, especially in the long run. So why take NMN, not NAD? Well, basically, yes, as I mentioned beforehand, NAD doesn't get absorbed to the, through the stomach. It's too big. Um, NMN does, it gets broken down in the stomach and then your body can help like make NAD out of it, um, which then also helps, you know, um, you got all the anti-aging benefits, you get the cellular benefits, blood vessel health, and then your CERT pathways get activated. How good. So I have a little diagram on the article and it basically just shows that like food intake, 
what we get from our food is we extract niacin, vitamin B3, and NMN out of them. And then they both convert into NAD. And then NAD goes back around, converts into NMN, and then it goes back into NAD and just like kind of keeps like sort of um, converting around. Hence why vitamin B3 and niacin is so important. So yes, it's really important to know. NAD also needs tryptophan. So here's where we go. So basically, if you want to know where to get NMN and vitamin B from, meat, avocado, sorry, just little burpees. Meat, avocado, mushroom, um, and potatoes. Get them in. It's just important to know, yes, NAD also needs tryptophan, which is basically tryptophan is what gets, um, tryptophan is what makes serotonin in your brain. And essentially when you're stressed, that's what zaps out, zaps serotonin and like tryptophan out of your cells. And um, tryptophan um, basically comes in different forms of niacin and different vitamin B3 forms. So to actually function and to use properly. So you can get these in supplements and foods such as cherries, turkey, beef, eggs, and salmon. They've got a lot of tryptophan in them. Um, very handy to know because they're going to help increase your NAD function. So even if you're not getting them in every single day, try to get at least a couple serves in a week. Really, really important. That's why people sort of take, I'm not sure if you've heard, they take, um, eat some turkey and cherries before bed. Is it increases your tryptophan levels, increases your serotonin levels, helps you get a really good sleep, makes you nice and tired. Um, important to know there. So stress and aging play a large role in the ability for our NAD to function. Why? Tryptophan is used in serotonin and niacin gets stripped out of our NAD cycles when we come up against stress. What? Um, as I've mentioned beforehand, simply put, the more external and internal stress we experience, the more our body uses up all our NAD stores. It's a good question to ask. How stressed are you? It doesn't have to come just from like, like gym and exercise, whatever it is. It can also come from just like, oh, I've got this to do, I've got this to do, I've got this to understand, I've got this to organize. Just adulting, it's a lot of stress. And what's your perception on it? Do you kind of feel a little bit stressed while you're doing things? Like, oh, oh. Do you feel like, if you ever feel like, I need a day off, then you probably need a day off. <laughs> if you ever think, oh God, I'm tired, then allow yourself to be tired. <laughs> let yourself be tired, go through those processes, let your body heal so that it's not like just zapping all the energy out of it because that's how you will age. So when we age, our body's ability to use serotonin and convert tryptophan also decrease. Oh God, everything's decreasing as we get older. Damn it. Um, so, and I think due to our culture, it is common it's common that many people are too stressed and their health declines with ranges of symptoms from looking older, that's one, gut problems, feeling bloated all the time, being moody, inflamed, having reactions to certain foods like, oh, I can't eat watermelon or, oh, I can't eat bananas or I can't eat this. If you'll notice that you can't eat certain things, it's like, well, you probably should be able to eat those things. Your body's just so stressed out right now that it can't deal with whatever you're eating and can't digest it. Oh, interesting. Um, you get sore all the time, aches and pains. Your fitness declines. Um, you recover much slower. You feel tired. You fatigue easily or you feel sluggish. All of those things are symptoms that you are too stressed out and your NAD conversion cycles are not happening as best as possible. So to defend ourselves against the stress and, um, and our health declining, I would encourage you to give your body the best chance as possible to function optimally for as long as possible. Give yourself the best chance. Come on, you can do it. All you got to be doing is making like the best decisions for you every single day. Like how hard is it? <laughs> I think as humans, we always, um, we give too much. We're constantly giving ourselves, giving our time to people like just like other people too much because that's where we feel that we get love and then we forget to love ourselves a little bit. <laughs> so when we zoom um, into the cells of our bodies, um, we're sort of blessed to have all this knowledge. Like all these things that I'm talking about, like, we, we have this knowledge and we understand this. Like we've done the studies. There's all the scientific stuff done on this. Like I think it's amazing that we get to understand this. Um, so we can be more confident that supporting our body's NAD processes are truly essential and necessary for our happiness, our health, our wealth, everything. So how do we do this? First, first thing, build more resistance to stress. How do you do that? Well, you exercise and you push limits. I think one of Richard Branson, I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about Richard Branson and why he was so successful. They're like, Richard Branson, why are you so successful? And he was like, because I go to the gym every day. 
<laughs> I find that so fantastic. Like someone who's rich and so successful, but he's like, you know, it's not just the gym. It's like, it's showing up every single day with a discipline to do one thing that you know is going to improve your resistance and get you better at stress and help you push the limits. And he's like, cause I'm doing that every single day that then translates into business. You go into the business gym every day, you're getting here, you're doing, do, doing this every single day, relationships, whatever it is. The second step, so the first step is build, build resistance to stress. The second step is to remove stress. So literally remove stress or change your perception. So that's from the muscle nerds. They, they, they put that in there. I think that was really awesome that they talked when they talk about stress and stress, man- stress management. If you can't get rid of stress, the only thing you can do is to remove or change your perception about what you are doing why it's important to you, and then be grateful for it. The best way I can explain it is when you notice that you have a certain stress or you're stressed out about something, it's how can I saturate this whole experience, this whole stressful thing with as much gratitude, appreciation as possible. That is like real powerful stuff. Third step, provide the body with the nutrients required. First step, build resistance to stress. Second step, remove stress or change your perception. And then third step is provide the body with the nutrition required, with the nutrients required. Eat the foods that can that contain tryptophan and all the other things, well-balanced meals with all the different vitamins. And make sure you're getting your niacin or supplement with NMN and resveratrol. You can also get a really high-powered multivitamin that has a whole bunch of everything in there. Like I really like, like Muscle Nerds recommended this as well. So thorns, advanced nutrients or basic nutrients, either one of those uh, supplements, really good for making sure that you have all the nutrients in your body because it's hard for us, especially if we are stressed as well, we start making all these different changes, right? And as we're making these different changes, when we're like actually digesting the food and and doing everything else is we won't actually digest it because, hey Rob, (laughs) what's up baby? (laughs) Yeah, say hi. What's up? What am I to? What's up? Uh, everyone. Oh, shit. What's going on, guys? You're in good hands. Yes. Um, so, yeah, taking a really good supplement or multivitamin like that to make sure... Well, if we are stressed out and we're not absorbing everything as best as possible from the food that we get, how can we get all these different nutrients? It's like, well, we can't. So if you're taking a supplement... Um, that has all of these, these things in there that can be extremely critical, like just to your health, your wealth, your brain, your energy, your mood, everything. So it is useful to be supplementing, but personally, I would advise you not to supplement with tryptophan <laughs> or serotonin. The body makes enough of it on its own. And usually the reason serotonin pathways do not work is because they become blocked via stress. Taking more can have consequences on the mind and mood only supplement with neurotransmitters if advised by your healthcare professional. For sure. Like that's <laughs> like really, really important because if you don't know how the, all those different neurotransmitters work and you haven't done all the tests, I'd stay away from taking tryptophan and serotonin. Take resveratrol. So resveratrol, as I mentioned beforehand, it's made from the compounds found in grape skins when you make red wine and it has benefits expanding blood vessels and lowering blood pressure, um, aiding in weight loss and it also allows for a big old boost of nitric oxide. What is nitric? If you need a pause for a second, guys, just to think (laughs) like that's completely fine. So resveratrol found in grape skins, expands blood vessels, um, lowers your blood pressure, aids in weight loss. It also increases nitric oxide, which improves blood flow within your body. Literally how like NOS works in a car is the same way how it works in your body. Expands everything, makes blood flow happen and is responsible for increased blood flow around the body. Hence, when you pair it with NMN, NMN can get into the cells better and where you need it most. So NMN is the fuel source for cellular health, energy, and longevity, and resveratrol is the pedal and the initiator that makes that happen. So, if you need to pause there and just to think about some of those things, like, please do. If not, we're getting into the to the the last stages. We're almost there, guys. So hang on with me. This is a whole bunch of good stuff here. And remember these things and what you're going to think about. Think in the back of your head, like, how can I tell someone else about this? So fasting, ketosis, and a low carb diet. So fasting increases the body's natural ability to get into ketosis, which is when the body uses ketones as a fuel source. Standard. That's what ketosis is. And fasting helps that. Um, I have an article on that if you want to learn more about that. Um, I've got a fasting article on the website, coreybatwell.com. And I also have two fasting podcasts with my old man talking about all these different things. Fasting makes you basically feel highly alert and you gain, gain a lot of mental clarity. 
It is known that calorie restricted diets, fasting and low carb ketosis diets and ketone supplementation increase NAD levels. How good? That's why it's mentioned. So fasting increases NAD in the body, which leads to ketosis. Um, so should we be in keto all the time? No, absolutely not. It's just like knowing that when you are in ketosis or you are fasting, it's helping your bodies um, to increase the NAD levels. It has also been shown that using ketosis may serve as a rapid and enduring strategy to halt or even decrease reverse disease progression. If you haven't fasted, for the love of God, guys, I've got a fasting course. DM me if you want to actually do the fasting course. It's, it's, it's really powerful. It goes through all the different stuff. How to do your first 24-hour fast is in there. And then if you want to do a little bit more, we got a little bit extra in there. So really, really important. That's why like fasting is super anti-aging. And anyone who's getting older, it's just like, man, I think anyone from the age of like literally 23, 24 should be fasting. Like have some sort of regular fasting basis whether it's monthly, fortnightly, weekly, like you should be doing something in there just to regenerate all your cells. Increase your NAD. Yeah, so NAD can en enhance mitochondrial health, decrease oxidative stress, and aid with gene DNA expression due to some sort of ketogenic therapy. Really important, mitochondrial health is huge. If you guys don't know about cells or what mitochondria is, mitochondria is literally like these tiny cells within your cell <laughs> which make all your energy happen and your DNA is inside your mitochondria and they speak to each other. And that's what I was saying beforehand. Like, does energy come from food? Not really because mitochondria can like duplicate themselves or make more of themselves. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so then they make, they make more of themselves and that's how we make energy. And how can we do that? It's like, well, if we're clear in our purpose, we're clear on how to act intelligently and we're clear on what we need to do is that your body will just boom light up with energy and more mitochondria happens and you just get like really happy and positive. Um, so, now some things to take in. Pause if you need. We're going to go through the rest of this stuff. It's a little bit heavy. And then like we're going to go through just results from the study. So this is results. So this is like case study proof. And then I'm going to go through over like what you actually need to do. Um, and then we're done. <laughs> and you can take this and use it as much as you like. So the results from the study is that NMN and niacin, vitamin B3, have been extensively studied for the past few years, concluding that supple supplementing with these substances have led have had therapeutic effects for healthy aging and disease conditions. It is important to know that NMN and niacin are continually being studied at the moment. So here are some results. Supplementing with NMN has been shown to have a positive effect on insulin levels, most likely through action on pancreatic beta cells. Pancreatic beta cells look after your hormones that regulate metabolism, growth development, tissue function, sexual function, reproduction, sleep, and mood. Pancreatic, pancreatic beta cells are important. NMN has shown benefits for those cells. They are cells that synthesize, store, and release insulin, a hormone. So as I mentioned, insulin, what is that? It's a hormone that antagonizes glucagon, <laughs> which is basically like uh, glycogen, getting carbs and sugar going like throughout your body, like reduces the, the spike that sugar has within like uh, your cells and your blood. Um, helps with growth hormone, adrenaline, and other hormones to maintain circulating glucose concentrations. Really important. NMN supplementation has also been shown to reduce obesity and vascular damage. It improves central nervous system health and increases brain function, simultaneously protecting it from toxins and impairment. It is shown that it protects against cerebral ischemia induced or ischemia induced ap apopo ap I'm gonna try to say this apoptosis. <laughs> what this means is I know you're like, what the fuck are you talking about, Corey? So this means Basically, what it does is it, where was I at again? Yes, simply is when the blood flow gets blocked to the brain and leads to cell death. So what happens is blood, you have all this blood flow happening through your brain and what cerebral, whatever those words were, is they're blockages that occur in your brain and prevent blood, blood flow from coming through, which makes your brain age. NMN shows that it prevents that. Um, NMN increases neurogenesis after brain injuries. So this is a process which new neuro neurons are formed in the brain through converting stem cells into neurons. Really important because brain injuries aren't always just like knocks to the head. It's also trauma and other things too. Um, NMN up regulates NRF2 pathways. This is really important. I didn't know this before because I've always hear about NRF2 pathways. What are they? NRF2 increases the body's anti-inflammatory processes by using increasing 
using and increasing inflammatory cells in antioxidants. So NRF2 pathways increase, basically they just increase the anti-inflammatory processes. But what is that? That is the the anti-inflammatory cells in antioxidants, allowing them to protect the body against oxidative stress. So how do we get old? And it's basically like we get less resistance to oxidative stress. Like literally when you see a cauliflower start to go like, dark yellow and go a bit gross that's because of oxidize oxidization is occurring that happens within us nrf2 pathways is what prevent that from happening and nmn helps upregulate nrf2 pathways ice bath and saunas also do the same just a little shout out to ice bath and saunas nmn has helped with improving alzheimer's disease symptoms and also can reverse the negative consequences of high fat diets that's a lot of facts to take in. Pause if you need. Re-go over. Just hit that back 15 minute, 15 seconds a couple times on your Spotify <laughs> and listen to that again. That's some serious benefits. So there's also a figure two, like a figure in the um on the on the article here, which is n- number figure two, which goes through and shows how NAD converts into the CERT pathways. What are the CERT pathways again? That's the growth proteins that like your body uses, your anti-aging pathways. All right. Um, basically, this the what this graph shows is that like um, it shows aging, disease, a high fat diet, and a sedentary lifestyle, and how they impact NAD. So they all prevent like so aging, disease, high fat diet, and being like living a sedentary lifestyle prevent NAD from being converted. This shows that exercising and fasting is like positive stress to the body really, really good. The more exercising and fasting that we do, not to the point where it's going to cause us stress, but exercising and fasting is positive stress, which works really well. Um, what things that increase, like increase NAD conversion is, is, is basically like looking at this here is, um, exercise, fasting, and making sure we have positive stress, increasing life force energy as well. Um, and the right nutrition to support, um, niacin and NMN. And that there's another pathway in here called PARP. PARP proteins. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I hope I'm not losing you guys. Stay with me. Stay with me. Oh God, what are all these new terms? PARP proteins basically involved in DNA repair. So as we said beforehand, that all this stuff helps with your DNA repair. Path, PARP proteins are the way that helps that. And basically, high fat diet, sedentary lifestyle, aging, diseases, and all that stuff prevent NAD from occurring. And then good positive stress, having healthy PARP pathways and making sure we have the right NR or the the right niacin, vitamin B3 and NMN to support NAD is what's going to upgrade mitochondrial and energy health. So basically all the things that happen in ATP and all the things that happen in that, basically in the energy in our cells comes from mito- mitochondrial health. So scientists have known about NAD and its and its critical role since like 1906. What? They have learned that NAD is found in every living cell and it powers mitochondria and which is responsible for energy and keeping every living cell in the body healthy. Holy shit. So they've known about this for a long time. NAD boosts mitochondria equals energy. That's basically it to, to summarize it. <laughs> but we're going in detail. You guys got to learn these things. I hope you're taking some nuggets. You may need to listen to this again. Book it in. Uh, book it in. So, pro tip: keep your NMN in a fridge or the freezer. It is actually an unstable. Um, sorry, it is more stable when it's kept cold. Um, you're getting the most maximal results out of it. So, mitochondria. What is it exactly? Just just a little top off. Last little thing you need to know, and I'm going to tell you what you can do um, to have all the benefits, and then we're done. You've got through this. <laughs> so, mitochondria. They are in all our cells and generate chemical energy needed to power our cells' biochemical reactions. Like in the middle of a mitochondria, we have like our DNA. It's quite nuts. And our energy like fluctuates between those little cells which are inside our cells. (laughs) So they are in all our cells and generate chemical energy needed to power the cells' biochemical reactions. Every single biochemical reaction, which we're having billions, like every second, come from mitochondria health. Every disease that we have basically comes from having damaged mitochondria. Chemical energy produced by the mitochondria is stored in a small molecule called ATP. So that's how ATP works. Mitochondria help ATP makes us move, think, ideas, hear, listen, see, touch, sound, mood, energetic, everything. So it is important to know... It's important to know this as NAD plays a key role in communicating between 
our cell and our cell nucleus and the mitochondria that power all activity in our cells. So our, basically the way I look at our cells, the nucleus is just the whole cell, right? That's like, you could just say it's a, basically the whole cell and then the mitochondria are inside that cell and they actually power all the energy um, within that. So that's like a really important fact that I've learned that's like, if you're not following like your own hero's journey, if you're not on the path that like you're supposed to be in, you haven't understood your purpose and you, you don't have that thing that helps you act more intelligently. Because as we said beforehand, Fyodor, Fyodor Dostoevsky quote was that it takes something more than intelligence to actually act intelligently. So if you don't understand what that is or why you're doing it, then you're not going to have the energy to do so. And it's sort of like what happens is if you're going down your path, your purpose, and you're making all the right decisions aligned with your own hero's journey is that your environment and your situation and everything that you do is you're going to experience less stress and your body's also going to be aware of the environment you're supposed to be in. Hence why if you're not in an environment or a situation or you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing with your life following your own hero's journey, you will suffer depression. You will suffer fatigue. You will feel like stress will come along and then you'll age quickly. Um, your body will not work how it's supposed to and you'll just get down. And until you figure out this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing and then you start doing that, your environment changes. Next minute you start making better health decisions. You start like eating better, exercising, training, taking the right nu- nutrients, supplementing, um, having better relationships, taking care of yourself, take, helping like take care of others as well. Um, is that literally that's why it all happens within ourselves, right? Is 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 literally like just explained within this in this po- in this podcast and in this article of how that happens. I think that is so ridiculously powerful. So just like another tip on how to increase your energy is get clear on your why, get clear on what makes you mean, <laughs> mean anything, get clear on your purpose, understand what your hero's journey is, like what's the unknown that you need to get into, what are the trials and tests that you need to go go through what's the gold in terms of value and knowledge that you want to learn and then how you're going to bring that back to the people and um, or people around you friends family if you can understand that and then you're going to put yourself in the right situation the energy in your cells because you're going to be experiencing a lot less stress and going to be able to activate and then you're going to be able to be the best you literally biochemically you can have way better biochemical reactions it has just been explained all this like lifestyle stuff <laughs> about what to do with your life and your purpose why it's so important, it has just been explained right now how it happens literally inside our cells. Holy shit. Anyway, just to put that out there, I just that was huge for me. <laughs> so the big question that I ask now from you guys is what do you actually need to do? Well, as always, what you need to do is so simple. Like what we need to do to have all this stuff that we learned, right? If you're going to take away anything from this podcast, it's just to do these things. And that is to buy some NMN from Eternal Labs. No, I'm kidding. Definitely get yourself some. Um, but the things that you can do also besides buying the supplements is to just be aware of all of this. Understand it. The fact that you've listened to this is so critically important and you've got through it. I congratulate you. Now you just got to teach someone else. <laughs> so the first thing to be like to do to increase all this energy, life force energy and make sure you're anti-aging and like focusing on yourself. The first thing to do is get good regular sleep straight up. Second thing is eat amino acid protein dense foods that uh, contain tryptophan, beef, turkey, cherries, all of those things. Um, and like there's other different uh, like plant protein, pl- plant protein foods that you can get if you're vegetarian or vegan you just have to look which ones are higher in tryptophan otherwise you'll be smashing a lot of those cherries um cacao like raw cacao ceremony cacao cacao nibs all of those things have a lot too um make sure you get the three forms there's three forms of vitamin three of like nice and make sure you're getting them into your diet if not encourage you to try supplementing with them a good quality one as well um a diet rich in plants algae and grass-fed organic pasteurized homogenized milk is elite so, um, so diet rich in just really good quality plants, algae, grass fed organic beef and stuff. And also like the, if you're going to use a milk, grass fed organic pasteurized homogenized milk is the one that you want to go for. A healthy gut microbiome is absolutely critical and essential. You're not getting anywhere without a healthy gut. What do you need for that? Like, well, basically if you have symptoms where you're bloating, if you're having food intolerances, I can't eat that it makes my guts feel weird or I can't eat that. It's like sort out some of your guts. All the tryptophan or serotonin and all these different things that NAD uses created in your stomach. Your stomach creates the hormones. Um, really important. Your brain just uses them. <laughs> so 
Um, you can actually measure this. You can get a biome test or a microbiome test done. So you do a little poopy and a little test and you, and you send that out to a naturopath and, um, uh, not a nat- you send it to a company, then they set the, the company sends the results to a naturopath and they go through that with you and let you know what you need to do. Really important. So if you're like, oh, I've got this gut thing, what do I do about it? Just go see a naturopath, get a microbiome or a biome test done. Simple. Like just spend the money, get it done, make your health so much better. Remove um, external and internal stress from your routine and environment. And as the muscle nerds say, if you need to, change your perception. But yes, go through, think about your stress management, what you need to do. What are some things that you can remove? Like for me, one example I use is I quit driving to work because being in traffic fucking stresses me out hard. Can't deal with it. I'm too type A personality. Hard for me to change my perception. So I ride a bike. How I in? Perfect. Killing all the bones of one stone. Exercise. Not stressed because I can go around the bloody lights. <laughs> it's all on me to get there. So like it's one of the best decisions I've ever made for stress. Remove your intake of toxic substances. That's eating too much having too many toxic substances, using like a non-organic shampoo, um, soap, dishwashing liquid, all of those different things, being in like bad environments that have toxic in them, um, cooking things on too high temperature, breathing the chemicals in, there's so much stuff you can do. How you wash your clothes, things like, it's crazy. It's like, oh God, there's so much to do. But honestly, don't feel stressed. Just take it one thing at a time. Our bodies are pretty amazing. Whatever you can do, just do that. And then try supplementing with NMN and resveratrol. See how you feel. You can find them actually at eternumlabs.com.au. Seriously, now use the Corey, like Corey code, C-O-R-E-Y, and you get 10% off that. Really good. I've got a whole bunch of people on there, and they're just like, yes, this stuff's the best. I'm like, yes, it is. It's so good. And um, yeah, like even the the brand itself, they have all these case studies of people sending them just like with just mind-blowing results of waking up with energy, feeling amazing, exercising better. Super good. Get your parents on there if you need them. Um, so basically, all of this stuff... What it does is supports your gut because of all the stress that happens in there. We want to support that. It supports your gut and helps your NAD levels to increase and get really high and then stay up there too. So guys, we've come to the end of the podcast. Congratulations if you got through it. Like honestly, I am fucking so proud of you if you did. And just to, yeah, remember that it takes something more than intelligence to act intelligent. And what is that? That is your life force energy. And that comes from getting clear on what you're doing and where you're going and supporting your body in that process. And making sure you have good NAD levels is one of the best things that you can do. Everything comes down to body and mind. So big love, guys. Huge flex for you. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. If you did get anything out of it, again, please share it. Just like go right now. Quick share, copy link, share to some people, send it. I would appreciate that heaps. And yeah, big love. See you in the next one.